Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you a 64% win rate Jarvan build that's absolutely broken. There's over 14,000 games played on it this patch at a 64% win rate in Emerald Plus. The build is Gore Drinker and a Spear of Shojin and a Frozen Heart. This sets you up with so much ability haste that you can literally have two flags down at once. The flags last for eight seconds and your flag gets at a four second cooldown, letting you spam like crazy. So you might as well learn this build and how to play Jarvan because you got a while to use this before they nerf it because they are not in a hurry. Jarvan is extremely first pickable, blind pickable you can start from really any camp and even full clear on him efficiently we're gonna go ahead and get a ward down head over to our red buff we want to path towards our easiest our easiest lane to gank and that's going to be vain on darius darius is going to be aggressive with her going bot lane on my six will also be very easy so yeah Jarvan very consistent because his full clears are good his ganks are good he can vertical jungle if he needs to or wants to Generally speaking though, full clearing is the most consistent thing to do on him. Plus Jax can block my autos and has a jump. Our E gives us a bunch of attack speed for us and our allies. It's your best level one start. You can go for Ignite, Flash, or Ghost. Ignite's best if you're worried about your solo potential against the enemy jungler. If you are, you might as well just go for Ignite. I think with Ignite, I can comfortably solo Jax at least pre-6. If not, even at 6 if I have some kind of advantage as well. We're gonna kite these out, get them with an auto and a Q, and we're chilling. Boop. Jarvan passive, if you haven't hit that tart within six seconds, you do a bunch of max health damage against it. Q on through it for the knockup. It's also good to reposition through the small ones since uh, you do a lot of damage. You don't wanna just stand there and let them mulch you. Very nice. Your Q does shred armor, so in a perfect world, you hit him with the Q before you use your passive auto. That doesn't matter too much, though. Auto into Q. Knock them out of their autos. Since our passive's on cooldown, try to get it on them now since it's off cooldown. Auto into Q. Jarvan Shield keeps you pretty healthy in the jungle. Not that long of a cooldown and blocks more than an auto attack. We'll go ahead and smite it, get our lower cooldowns, and take romp. Jarvan's full clears are not slow at all. He's much faster than many meta junglers. If you get a leash, typically you'll be finishing somewhere around 315 to 320, depending on how optimized you have it. If you don't get a leash, you'll finish more around 325. We have lots of HP. We could pop potion here. I don't think we'll need to. We'll see what there is to see up here. Might run into Jax. We want to max our Q first. Ooh, hey friend. Got off the EQ. He's ignited. He's dead. Oh, it should be. Okay, we got his flash for our ignite. He got a spicy level up there. It's a good trade for us though. Since ignite's a much shorter cooldown. Someone just warded over the wall. I might be able to get double scuttle off that, we'll see. Maybe just go mid. Oof, this is playing back, this is warded. 100%. 110% this is warded. Hmm, do I wanna go top? Not really. Yeah, this is a good time to reset. He's playing safe against Nasus, cause uh, maybe I could. Vayne's kind of pushing it though. She's making it hard. There, can you believe they're buffing Gorgonker next patch when Jarvan's already turbo meta? And they're not even nerfing Jarvan. He's basically S plus tier. He's not getting a nerf and they're buffing Gorgonker. It makes no sense. He's going to be literally picking ban next patch, at least platinum and up or emerald and up. People in lower elo don't like him because traditionally Jarvan doesn't stick out that strong in the meta, but right now with how good he is, you can play him anywhere from Iron through Challenger. He's that consistent. Like I said, the only bad time to play him is when your team's full AD like my team is here. But in my defense, I was first pick. I would not have intentionally picked Jarvan up with a full AD team. Santa's reacting slow to the ward being here, so we're gonna go for the gank. Caitlyn knew immediately. You could saw the way, the way Caitlyn backed up, like we knew immediately. Needed one more auto on her. Down she goes, that's solid. We'll 
go ahead and use our EQ, get some of this minion XP, and also get to our Raptors a little bit quicker. Fizz is six. My goodness, five minute 30. Gotta love that solo lane XP. Six when I'm four, very cool. Makes me nervous walking over here. I assume he backed, though. All he has is corruptions. Drop our E into Q. Pop the shield. Go ahead and kite up these guys on over a little bit towards the bush for some extra safety. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, we farm faster than Jack's jungle. Jack's jungle has great scaling and great split push potential. But, uh, oh, he has Hell of Blades. It's kind of scary, actually. Not quite sure why he's in my jungle. Just need the Nasus with her. This guy's toasted. He's trying to turn it on me. We're going to jump, auto, ignite. He's dead. Fizz is trying to burst me and I'm dead. Ooh, I got the triumph feeling. I think Fizz might die for that. He also burned flash. Nash is still on R. He's going to try to troll pull to the wall. He's dead. Nasus can keep vision of him. That is so, so, so worth for us. Fizz to lose his flash. And once again, we used our ignite and we get flash from the Fizz. And uh, that ignite set up our triumph. I don't think Jax was able to flash there. His flash might have still been on cooldown. Flash is 300 seconds. Ignite's only, I believe, 180. But since I have Cosmic, it's simply 152. So it's super, super short. Jarvan doesn't necessarily want to go for a heal cut. He doesn't want Thornmel or Executioners. To where having Ignite sets you up for the sleek 64% win rate build with the Gore Drinker, uh, Spear of Shojin, and Frozen Heart. Frozen Heart for team fighting. You don't want Frozen Heart, obviously, first or second item because it's going to take away from your damage output. Getting it third is fine because we're going to be team fighting at that point. Staying Scuttles, walking straight to Jax right now. Auto into Q. On award the whole time. If my Q is off cooldown, I would toss flag while I'm hitting it and then I can just Q to the flag, save myself some time. It's easy to last hit with Jarvan passive. To grab red buff real quick or just do dragon since double bot laners are dead it's fine by me Jax is six but his stuns on a cooldown his pass is full stack though got it oh I actually messed that up his stun should still be on a cooldown Pantheon's not able to get to him but he gets him with Q man my smite there was kind of oof so I was timing with the Jack's third auto plus Q. I must have just been like 30, 40 damage short. Unfortunate. And I don't have smite. Pantheon can smite it with his Q if he does it right. Pantheon Q crits things that are below 20% health. The soloing Hellblade's Jax is kind of weird. Not a bad matchup for Jarvan. And most Jarvan matchups, you're not necessarily looking to solo the enemy jungler. You're looking to outpath them and outgank them. The reason for the full clear is it's just so consistent with how fast it is. And then Jarvan ganks are arguably the best in the game. I'm in behind. These guys don't really have a good place to go. We're going to walk up slow first. Before we use our jump, then we'll jump. Basically, we can no longer reach them with autos if we already have them cut off. There's no reason to jump early because then if they flash it, we have zero way to keep up with them. We have nothing left. Sometimes you have to slow them to just to get to them, though, with your big old slow range. Because your slow is about th a Thresh auto attack range, a little bit longer. That should do it. Nice, nice, nice. We'll be level 7. I'll reset when I can full my Gore Drinker here. I don't need to farm my top side. It does feel bad to back with my R being up. Your R goes through everything. Another thing that gives Jarvan ridiculous consistency. Even if they have a Janna or an Alistair, let's say Alistair is going to headbutt you, you can R through it. Your R is unstoppable. You can't be like CC'd or displaced out of it. Get with the EQ, get the slow on him. He's ignited. Very nice. Smack that guy right in the back. 
Is Nasus on Ghost? Yeah, he's on Ghost, so he's chasing him, but Jax, chasing Jax is tough. So that's the reason why I wouldn't really bother invading Jax to try to kill him, even if I think I could solo him. He's just gonna jump away to something. Plus he has his defensive stun mechanic. I need a reset for Gore Drain. We're seeing a lot of gold. Well, and that's another thing. Many junglers like Jax and Warwick, even though they do have good carry potential and they're decent junglers, they have to go for Tiamat. I don't have to go Tiamat. My Q and E are both AOE. There's no need. If Nasus had TP, I'd stay. Sitting on too much unspent gold. Their team's extremely physical damage heavy. They're really full AD outside of Fizz. So their comp is not that good either. I'd say our comp's is better since we have the Vayne true damage. It's going to outshine Fizz in the late game. Fizz late game is uh, kind of poop. That champion absolutely has to play from huge gold advantage. Kind of like LeBlanc. Fizz is a melee LeBlanc. Not a big fan of that champ. He's not even that mobile. Because there's a lot of CCs that can, he can't really outplay with Troll Pull. You Q again with the slow. He jumps through. He flashes. Whew. Like there's kind of frame one CCs like Malzahar R. Or let's say like a Leona stun or Blitzcrank knockup. Blitzcrank can knock Viz out of his troll pole. It's a really weird mechanic. Or there's just abilities that can straight up hit him inside of it, like Mal's Aids, Fiddle Drain, Ignite. All right, we'll go mid. My R's up. There's no reason to be farming right now. This is a free kill if we were here. If, assuming they stay where they are by the time I get there, like it's a free kill. It's a good chance this is warded. I'll ping it. Oh, yeah, it is. Get her with the slow. I'll go for the Senna here. She's ignited. Get her with the EQ. Down she goes. I'm going to path away. For Ooh, Jax is there. Oh, he's dead. I was going to run up, try to slow to save him. But once Caitlyn popped R, the damage output was going to be much too high. Hello, Caitlyn. I don't think this is worded. If she stays, she's dead. Jax might be there. Get her with the EQ. She didn't net. I'm actually shocked she saved that. I'm gonna try to push off that cannon. Get her with the EQ. Auto smite. Gore drink. She's almost dead. She's incredibly greedy for doing that. Because there's no upside other than getting a minion. The downside, like poten potential risk there is her just straight up dying, which she almost did. If my ignite was up, she was a goner. Cosmic Insight really is the best non-keystone rune in the game. The summoner spell haste and item haste is so good. Item haste obviously for our gore drink and summoner spell haste. More smites, more ignites. Free drag, fizz is dead. My teammates are already surrounded mid, one person top. They would have to fight us. 3v4. And that that's another thing, the Jarvan flag. Dragon meta is so prevalent right now. Like you basically, if you're not taking dragons, you lose the game by default. And dra and the Jarvan flag gives not only you a taxi, but your teammates. So a Jarvan group dragon is one of the fastest in the games. Champs is busted right now. I'm going to swap him into my main uh, setup. I've been playing a lot of Fiddlesticks, Eve, and Diana lately. Jarvan's is so much better. Jarvan gank's better than an Eve gank. Diana gank, obviously. And it is a little bit better than a Fiddle gank as well, although it might be slightly less consistent you can't necessarily outplay the fear jarvan has a knockup and the slow and and the speed of it as well eq into r can't really get away from that r damage it's going to connect so what we can do here we can stick the flag behind us and get the attack speed from it still and still q2 it like this yeah he smited that turd burglar so the only thing we miss out is the knockup against the monsters, but the knockup itself doesn't actually do any damage. And I suppose the E base damage, which is really not that high. Jungle items almost done, so I'll stick around on the map, try to get this finished. Looks like he took my Gromp, or somebody did. Auto Gore Drink. Gore Drink's a good auto reset. 
when fighting enemy champions if you think they have significant damage to kill you or threaten the kill then uh, you typically save it till you're below half health because it heals you more the lower in hp you actually are auto in the queue so it's 25 percent attack speed constantly just for having a level in re and then when you use re it's an extra 25 percent attack speed so it's a 50 percent attack 50 percent attack speed steroid when active when non-active it's half that and now we have green jungle item finish. Jax went for the ravenous. I like that Jax build. I like to run that one myself. I do think tank Jax is better. I put out a video on that. It was in Emerald Elo. And um, it did it insanely well against at least Emerald players. I haven't played it in super high Elo. But at least in Emerald, it was S++. They were so mad. They were saying to report me. Drop the EQ into R. Cancel the R and we're out. He smited. I don't die here, do I? No, I'm chilling. Not even close, baby. We got her exhaust, though. She really thought she was going to get a kill on us. What a goofball. Dude took my raptors. Now we buy a big chunk of Spear of Shojin. For some reason, Rai doesn't have it as a recommended item, even though it's Jarvan's highest win rate item in the game. Very cool. Gives your abilities a way shorter cooldown. 20 ability haste plus dragon force additional ability haste. You basically end up getting 40 to 50 ability haste from this item. And uh, you get more movement speed the lower and healthier you are as well. They could actually get rid of ex exigency. And this item would still be very viable. It doesn't need the exigency passive, that, that extra movement speed as well. It's already good enough as is. At least for the champions that want to take it. It's, it is nerfed on range champ, so you don't typically see them taking it as much. And um, yeah, it's more of a kind of a melee bruiser champ item. Is Zin Zhao Jarvan. I think Zin Zhao is getting buffed this upcoming patch. I'm excited for that. I prefer Zin to Jarvan. He's more my style. Jarvan's so strong right now, I do enjoy him as well. I have a deep disdain for the champion because... Um, like when I was first playing League, I was like on a 40, 50 FPS computer and uh, I had bad internet, like 110 ping. So <laughs> playing champions like Jarvan, we have to land the knockup. Plus Jarvan didn't used to have a slow, I don't think. Now you just slow them and it's free. Knockup, W, auto, gore drink. Normally you want to slow them first, then knockup, but if they don't see you, it's whatever. Got to get away from that fizz. He doesn't have troll pull. I don't know why he'd go back in like that. It's a mistake in my opinion. He's losing so much health from that as well. Ooh, they're Darius. It makes sense now. Oh, I'm dead. We get the knock up on the Fizz and we're a goner, man. Gore Drinker came up right as I died. So that's why he was doing what he was doing. <laughs> In hindsight, it might have been better for us to kind of hold on to EQ until we could go over the Baron Pit, give ourselves a wider burst there. Dragon's up as well. I chose a poor time to die. Hellblade's Jax does have better ganks than Lethal Tempo or Conqueror Jax. You will see it start to fall off though. It doesn't scrap well in a solo split push against a beefy boy like Jarvan. Now we're going for drag. Drag soul win con for us. You lose your base movement speed right as you approach the outer wall of your base. So I don't th even know if it's worth it to use your EQ out of fountain. Someone should run that test. I find using your speed up. There's only one champion who's really an exception to that. It's champions who have some kind of bonus for their movement speed. Maybe a Hecarim and you're going in, you want the extra AD or Nunu with a Snowball since any movement speed affecting him is extended for the 10 seconds of the Snowball. But most champions, it's not really worth wasting it. What in the world? Got him with a slow auto EQ, he's ignited. Auto Gore Drink, down he goes. Looks like we both ignited him, that's unfortunate. My Herald wears off soon. Pantheon is 8 kills. Champion so balanced. 
Seeing a lot more people play him. He got popularized in Korea recently. This could be warded. 89 more seconds. Get with the EQ, slow. She's holding on to her neck, because I'll R her, but she can get out of my R with her. Nah. Get with the EQ. And do a gore drink. We heal off of both of them. Oh, this vein's going too ham. That was such high risk for such a low reward. Set the flag on the escape. And yeah, we're out of here, man. Hmm. I guess he can get the vein because he has dead mans. Flashes for it. Oof. Yeah, that's not good. He's got a lot of armor too. Get him to knock up. He's smited, so he can't kite this very well. Good block by Pantheon. He greeted out hard there. This guy has as much items as I do. He's tier two boots, two items and partial on the same exact thing. He actually has more gold spent there since he has Bramble and I just have cloth armor. Well, maybe not. My items are more expensive, but you get the you get the point. Gotta lay this before it's too late. Use our free oracles. Oracle bugs after laying Herald. OP. We can get on the Senna with an EQ. Just to get to her. Slow. R her right as the snare is about to go off. Auto gore drink. EQ to get to her. Can't reach her with my slow very well. At least Caitlyn died. I got an assist. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. It is what it is. That's free Baron, realistically. Once again, we have the team attack speed bonus. You can have two flags down at once with how much attack speed we have. That is nuts in the butts. We could leave one out there for vision. <laughs> and then we can end up leaving one like all the way over here. All right, just like I did. Drop the EQ. I can't see crap, man. He's so quick. He's out of there. I'll, I'll try to take their red. Nasus is on a big, big power spike. They're collapsing on my teammates. I got to get there. Snag me a quick red buff. Mm, this is kind of sketchy. Got with the Ignite Gore Drink. I have my R to also kind of block here. I'll go over the wall. And what killed me? Wait, I'm confused. How did I die? I guess Fizz hit me with an Ignite or some burst right as I was leaving. I thought there was no way I died there. You get a bigger shield on Jarvan, the more enemies you hit, you get a bigger heal from Gore Drinker, the more enemies you hit. Just couldn't quite get away on that one. Frozen Heart will help out a lot, slowing the Senna attack speed, Caitlyn attack speed. Really, every single person on their team wants to crank off autos. Jax because of his passive and his R passive. Darius because of his passive. Caitlyn because of her passive. <laughs> and Senna because she has AD and Fizz because he has on-hit damage. So yeah, Frozen Heart here is kind of nuts. We'll go for Black Cleaver next, I think. Typically, at this point, you go GA or Cleaver. They do have so much armor. We're so physical damage heavy. Cleaver's probably the move. Fight for Drag Soul. Easy win. Since your R makes you unstoppable with a time CC like Senna Snare, how it simmers and then snares you, you, you want to R right as the snare is about to go off. That way, you're getting maximum distance, maximum spacing. You're also minimizing their CC because you're traveling in midair while you're CC technically. And then by the time you come out, their CC will basically be over. EQ. Got with this slow. My W. Oh, you missed it. A lot of Fizz missed that. I see Fizz, dude. I swear, every time I there's a Fizz in the game, I see them miss this jump. Because it's like, I guess, a hard one. EQ slow, we'll R. It's also blocking off Jax with how he positioned. I'm dead here 100% though. Yep, that sucks. Senna got the world's biggest shield there. I think she got it from her R. Vayne comes in and cleans up a little bit. Wild. 
I could get a thorn mill with how physical damage heavy their team is, although I'm not a big fan of it on Jarvan. But yeah, that's Seneshield, my goodness. Seemed like it was half her health bar. He needs to fight this. You can't let Darius beat on you like that, even if you do wither him. Because Darius has 380 attack damage. When Darius passive is full stack, dude, he, he, he can have the most attack damage in the whole game out of any champion because of his passive. See, he's 196. He was getting like around 150, 80 there. We got Draxel. I would go Visage, Spirit Visage, if uh, their team was more magic damage heavy. Even with Vis having a big mesh, I'm not too worried about that. Flag lasts for 8 seconds. It's only on a 4.6 second cooldown. You can flag spam like crazy here. I also have loads of mana right now. A lot of times you are people before you jump, that way you can't really outplay it, but sometimes you gotta jump to them with an EQ to reach them with an R, it just depends on the situation. But when you are, you want to, sometimes you wait a half a second or a quarter of a second or a second and a half, because you wanna block certain people away from you. So with, with the spacing of it, it's more than just a way to stop someone from getting away from you, it's also a way to isolate them from their teammates depending on their kits. Like a Darius can't really get in there. The Caitlyn and the Senna certainly can. Knock up, W, auto, gore drink. Get with the EQ again. Smited him. We get him with an EQ. He's ignited. Dude, my EQs don't have a real cooldown. They are up nonstop all the time. That's the thing. She thinks she's going to outplay me here. Like, what is there to outplay? I don't even have to use abilities until she jumps away. She's saving net to dodge my EQ. But nah, she lined herself up there. What was the outplay potential for her there? Nothing. Oh, yeah, I can't save her. They're going to have to build heal cut since we have ocean drag. This Draxel forces it. Me and Nasus are pretty beefy as well. Mm, they're all about to pop out. I gotta back up and give them some respect for a moment. Yeah, 4.9 and 3 seconds. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit silly. Jarvan was never meant to be able to jump this frequently. Think about items in League of Legends Season 13, they're a bit much. And then, so you see how we can chunk her? All, all, like, why is she chasing? Is she, is she a crackhead? So I was just gonna leave, right? She should have walked away. I should have walked away. She's, but she's missing half health, and I'm, and I lose nothing from it, right? No real cooldowns lost. But instead, she decides I'm not gonna let you get away with that. It's like, okay, you die. Cause I looked to see where her teammates were, and I saw that they were pretty dang far away. Later, Fizz. He's doing some damage. I don't have magic resist. He's at 25 mesh as well. But yeah, that, that's. This Jarvan's so overpowered. This champion, I'm not going to say he's brain dead or too easy. That He has too many good options. At any given point, he has a good option. Whether it's escaping, chasing, hard CCing with the knockup, or just AoE slowing and walking away, he always has a good choice. Cooldowns are too short, man. Right, 84 ability haste. I might be able to kill Santa here. She's being greedy. I have my ignite as well. Walk her down. She's slowed. I'm gonna hold on to my jump. Auto her to death. She's probably trying to surrender. She's mad at her team. <laughs> so she's just let me beat on her. Plus, she had nowhere she could go there. I might actually die here. Yeah, 
this is not good. Wow, we're actually kind of getting away a little bit. Oh, he lands it. This is so weird. <laughs> this Fizz is chasing pretty well. It's partly because the Medge 10% bonus movement speed is really, really good. I might have to go for Visage after all. Visage or Visage? Wait, what am I saying? Spirit Visage or... Uh, or Force of Nature is what I'm trying to say. I think I can get here in time. Base speed up and jumps. I'm sitting on so much gold. We're on Black Cleaver. You know, let's just go Moth. Moth for the damage output. It'll help out a lot with killing their squishies. Because when I get on the center or Caitlyn. I'll jump through. CC the front line to get to the back line. Or the back line. Separate the front line from the back line. And then we're good to go. If you have the clearly stronger back line. Let's say you have a Jinx or... Like an ash or something, then sure, you can just pilf easy mode, sit on your back line and win the game. I don't think that's the case this game, though. We could just group up and end here. We don't even need Elder. We already have Draxel. Two of them are dead. How big is this shield? 260 plus 46 for each champion hit. I like it. Hey, friends. I'm already over here. Outplayed. <laughs> Poor Fizz, man. He carried, he carried pretty hard. Not hard enough, though. This champ falls off. Yeah, Sen is trolling. She's not happy. Try to get him with the EQ. Pop in the R. Get the knockup ignited. Gore drink. Oh, no, we broke the Nexus. Let's look at damage dealt damage taken in runes. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we're number two in our team behind Ezreal, who was doing a lot of poking, and Fizz was the number one by far. That's a wild how much damage he's able to do, but I don't think a lot of it was... Like, a lot of it was kind of just getting picks. I still don't think they could stand up in a team fight. We were too tanky. Even if he is doing, let's say, 80% or... 60% more damage than everybody else. Me and Nasus are so much tankier than his team that it doesn't really matter. For damage taken, we took a decent amount. Not the most in the game. We're number three self-mitigated. We took the most in the game. 64k, pretty solid. It's mainly through Ws and uh, Kevin played still caps and whatnot. And then for runes, a high value. All in all, Jarvan jungle is possibly the best jungler in the game right now. Kha'Zix can be better with just how hard he snowballs, but if you're looking for a champion that you can first pick just about every single game and get extremely positive, consistent results with, whether it be the early game, mid game, late game, team fighting, ganks, Jarvan is the clear answer. If you guys enjoyed this Jarvan video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.